everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a quite a while since I've done an unboxing video, and today I'm going to be unboxing two models that I got in October. I know it's been a bit late, I've already seen these models, they're beautiful. And yeah, let's get right into it, and I'll start off with the Honoring Dose of Serve Boeing 737-800 by Genmai 200. Going into the first of two models, we're now I'm going to start off by reviewing the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800 Honoring Dose of Serve. And it's, it's, an, it's an awesome model, I'm excited for you guys to see it. And let's get into the box first. So in the front, obviously, we have the Gemini 200 gold logo, see right there, and then the a white banner of Alaska Airlines. Then we have the uh, CGI of the model, Boeing 737-800, item number G2ASA1138, and a Monday Turner scale bag test model. On the left side of the box, it's pretty simple. Gemini 200 logo, item number, die cast model, uh, Boeing 737-800, and the CGI. And here's an interesting part I want to get into. Every, as far as I'm aware, I believe, like, this is from, what is it? Like, August releases and beyond. I noticed that in the mainline narrowbody model boxes, but the pin is removed. We have magnets now, which we'll go into in a bit. And the back, Gemini 200 logo, as real as it gets. Um, some propaganda there, funny. And then Genma Jet social media, Boeing and Alaska Airlines licenses, made in Genma Jet, or made, yeah, Las Vegas, Nevada, made in China, all that good stuff. And the right side of the box is the exact same thing. And on the top of the box, logo, dual club goal model, and a barcode. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the outside of the box. Now let's get into unboxing the model. So with the new boxes, I could simply just go down and then open it. It's a magnet, so smooth. And there's a top piece of rubber. Not rubber, sorry. Styrofoam. And we have a tripod stand, which they're terrible, but I think I'll show you show it to you anyway. And with another layer of plastic, here it comes out the model. Alrighty, now with the model out of the box and with gears on, let's get into it. So on the left side of the aircraft, we can clearly see, got the 737 nose there. Um, and all throughout this library is so awesome. I don't know if it serves, obviously. And, um, pretty sure this says, let's see, I have to get a closer look. Let me give you guys a closer look. Alaska Airlines salute. Those who serve, and I believe there's five stars there. And then, yep. And we have a little message that I cannot read, and a welcome aboard sign. Right here, we have the Alaska logo in light gray, and an honoring those who serve titles. And right here, we have the beacon light, kind of pointing that, trying to focus into that. And we have the exit doors, the engine one the awesome split scimitar winglet with Virgin America vibes. Oh man, I missed that early. And over here we have the registration, November 570 Alpha Sierra and the American flag. And then I believe this is, I can't get into it. It's an association that Alaska have supported for years now. I, I cannot remember it off the top of the head. Maybe we'll put it on the screen. Um, and here we got the Eskimo tail. And I don't know if you can notice, but you see how like off this is, that the tail is not level. And even in the CGI, it is. It, it's really been bothering me ever since I got the model. All right, let's get into a bird's eye view now. I'm gonna zoom out here. All right, and you can really see the wings and we've got a Wi-Fi box there, the beacon light. And 570 above the cockpit. And in the engines, both sides, there's five stripes for, I believe, the five stars that are on the aircraft. Wing that again, and you have the whole wing, flap slots, ailerons, all that awesome stuff. Oh, and then horizontal and vertical stabilizer. 
all great. Now let's get into the underbelly view. Underbelly view here, and I'll just start at the nose here. 800 below the nose, and we have removable, we the news gear. You can remove, because they're magnets. This one was a bit stiff when I got it. Got an antenna, and you can see the blue and then the red stripe just kind of swooping in from the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a beacon light. You can see under the engines and under the wing, and then the actual split here on the winglet. Awesome. And Genmai Jet's logo, and right here is where the stand would go. And then horizontal and vertical stabilizer. You can also see the APU door and the cargo door right here. And yeah, these gears can be removed as well. All right, and that is pretty much the model. And that is the model. I would like to go into a few things that I've just really, like Genmai Jets could really do better on this. And I've seen this in past models where they've done it perfectly. And they, I don't know, it's so weird how they just change it. Um, the nose gear height, like, let me, let me see if I can show you. Um, it almost is like a Max's, or like, yeah, it's just a, a little bit too high. I think, I don't know, it might just be the specific model I got that maybe was just a bit messed up, but I cannot get the nose gear fully in, and I don't want to try, I don't want to break the model. Um, so it's just a, it's just a bit high, and it has been annoying me a little bit. I'll, I'll try to see if I can get another model I have similar to this up here. And another thing that Genmai Jet should have fixed a long time ago come on, is the wing flex. It's almost like an in-flight way, which uh, they could say that, but it, it just bother, bothers me. And I have other models that are even worse and some that are perfect. Yeah, I'll, in the next uh, shot, I'll show you the comparison, it's not that great. Um, and I got this from the Alaska company store and it was only about like 50, 55, $56, I believe. And I don't know, I received this with the loose horizontal stabilizer. I haven't tried taking it out, but I don't want to. Um, yeah, and it just, just, it's not that great. And especially what bothers me the most, besides the wing flex, is that tail. The Eskimo is just tilted to the right too much. And it, that's like, that's a mistake that shouldn't be let loose. And on the CGI, on the box, as you can see, it's not tilted, right? Can you kind of see the difference a little bit? Yeah. And real life, it's horse level with the horizon instead of tilted right. So yeah, let me show you a comparison for the wing flex as well. On the left is the honoring nose who serve, and on the right is um, the One World Alaska 737-900. And this was released in August of 2021, and this is August 2022, I believe. And there's just a minor difference, but also it's because the 737-900 is just a bit, um, uh, sorry, it's a bit taller than it should be because it, it like just came with a, a little bit of faulty landing gear, but you can kind of see just from the wing that it's pointing up a bit more than it should. And you can see on this side that it looks perfect almost. Yeah, I could just see the slight difference and this should not this should be lower as well. So yeah, it's just a, just a tiny bit annoying, but yeah, it's, it's still, it's not that bad, but it's still something that Gen Magic should work on. Alrighty, enough dissing that plane, let's just get into the next box. So this model is the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 in what is known as the Orca livery. And I think Alaska calls it um, the West Coast some Wildlife something, I think. Uh, but it's just known as the Orca livery because of the Orca on the tail. Very similar box, the only difference is 737 MAX 9, item number, CGI, and that's it. Um, yeah, difference here, CGI. Literally no difference except 737 Max 9. Same thing. Yep. And then this is, I believe, what is it? Yeah, a September uh, release from Gemini Jets. And I ordered, man, I actually ordered this model 
in April when it was a future release and I got it off Panda Fox Toys for I think 76 bucks and um, it was worth every buck and although I could have got it from the Alaska Company Store I wanted to get this as soon as I could because I knew these were they haven't sold out yet but a lot of them were pre-ordered so I just wanted to make sure I got it um, uh, yeah but same thing as the other one it's a magnet now, so no pin tab. And yeah, let's just get straight into unboxing it. So at the top we have top layer of foam, plastic, and then here is the model. Now getting into this beautiful model, just even just in the first glance from the left side, it's beautiful. There's almost nothing wrong you can see really here. And I've only, I only got one thing for this model, that's how good it is. But let's go over it. So on the left, you got uh, probably a bowling. And yeah, it's like this whole plane is like a base of a really cool navy blue. Um, yeah. And then you got 903, Max 9, nose landing gear, L1 door, and you have the welcome aboard. And the Alaska titles in white. Navy blue engines as well. And you can see that you have the max, like the, the max winglets. And Alaska oddly decided not to put anything on their winglets, but have it be just the, the regular winglet painted like a regular winglet on their regular Max 9s. Which kind of upsets me because if you're sitting in the back on this plane, there's nothing special about it. The only thing you could see from the front is the engine color. But uh, yeah, let's get into more to Got the um, one antenna beacon light and a Wi-Fi box, another antenna, and registration, November 932, Alpha Kilo. And I've actually seen this aircraft in real life as well. I believe, yeah, I'll have a pushback. Like I saw this at San Diego, I got a video of it pushing back for Seattle, and that'll be coming up just before this uploads, I believe. An American flag, got the vertical stabilizer with the tail with the whale on it, just amazing. And then back here, you have the APU, which on the Mac sticks out more than like, say an NG, like the Honoring Goes Reserve 7800. And yeah, let's get into a bird's eye view. Now in a bird's eye view, uh, let's start on the nose. We have 932 at the top. Come on, focus, there you go. Um, got some little, little things up here. Beacon light, engines. And you can see on almost every engine, you have like those extra fins. I think they're cool. I believe they're for um, efficiency. And we got the beautiful winglets. They just, oh, they're so cool. It's so hard to explain it. Flap slats, air lines, we can all see that on the wing. Exit path, all that. Yeah. And we can see the horizontal stabilizer a bit better as well as the APU and a bit of the vertical stabilizer. That's pretty much it for the bird's eye view. Let's get into an underbelly view. Alrighty, now here's the underbelly of the aircraft. Right here, we got Max 9 at the bottom. Let's see if we can focus, here we go. And we got the nose gear, and we got some antennas right here, and some little doodads that I don't know. Uh, we got the stand hole, beacon light, I can see under the engine, and also where the uh, flaps and slats are. Some, you can see the air line right there, and the under part of the winglet, which has a bit of the blue. Jimmy Jets logo, some more antennas, another antenna, the APU housing door, and the APU itself as well as the horizontal stabilizers. And that's pretty much it for the model and the underbelly. Alrighty, and that is going to do it for this unboxing video. I know it's been a while. I think I will have posted one that I recorded back in July. Oh man, and I just did not um, upload it. Um, but yeah, now I'm getting out some more updated stuff and just, just a bit of channel light update. If you're here for the model, thank you for watching. You can leave, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, man or everybody watching. Um, yeah, and a bit of a channel update. Um, yeah, I got, I do have a model on order because I know it's been about two months since I've even unboxed a model, probably the longest I've ever gone without unboxing a model. Um, and I ordered it on Black Friday and I got it for, I got an Alaska Airlines A321 Neo from off of Panafox. I know that's like a model from three years ago, but I was only, it was $100 and I got 15% off. So that was about 85 and ordered it on the November 28th 
and it shipped the next day and it hasn't moved since. It doesn't, like on the USPS tracking page, it just says um, that it, it hasn't even, like a shipping label's been created, but the package hasn't been received. And Panafox says the order was fulfilled and I contacted them and they replied about two weeks after I did and I had to contact them through two different methods just so they could respond. They weren't responding oddly. And then finally, some guy responded and he was saying, yeah, hey, we gave them, we gave USPS the model and it wasn't scanned by them. Um, and that they were opening an investigation and it's been about a week since you said that. And we've also had like in the Pacific Northwest right now, we've had this uh, uh, winter storm. So I'm, I wanna apply, but I'm not going to because that's going on, but it's in Vegas, so it shouldn't be affected, but um, yeah, that's going on. And I'm, Panafox said they'd refund it to me and let me keep the 15% off for another model if I wanted to buy another model, um, which that's good, but I won't be able to get it because it was their last one in stock because it was so old. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And there's that little channel update for you. Thank you so much for watching till the end. You're such a valid subscriber to me. Please like this video. I love you guys. And yeah, stay tuned. And I, um, I hope to do a model unboxing for that Aether 21 Neo. I really hope it gets here, and I think it will. And yeah, thank you for watching.